Hello boxing fans, this is Anthony with Bleacher Bums Gaming Sports Network and we are here for a Glory Days Boxing title eliminator between the Galveston Giant Jack Johnson and the Oxnard Cyclone Sam McVeigh. And of course uh, Johnson was the first black boxer to win the heavyweight championship of the world and McVeigh uh, was also one of the uh, great uh, black boxers of the early part of the 20th century. Not, uh, not as well known as, obviously, Johnson and some of the others, such as Harry Wills, uh, Sam Langford, and Joe Jeanette. Uh, reason being is um, McVeigh fought a lot of his prime years overseas where uh, he was accepted or the acceptance of black boxers was a little bit higher than it was in the U.S. at that time, and as well as the purses. But there is no doubt that he is every bit as worthy as the other boxers of that time period have uh, been considered one of the great fighters that really never got an opportunity. And a little bit uh, back, or a little bit uh, deeper background information on McVeigh before we start the fight. Uh, he was active between 1902 and 1921, and he fought again the majority of his prime years overseas fighting in uh, France between 1907 and 1911 where he was extremely popular and from that point he went to Australia where he fought until 1914 uh, prior to coming back to the United States. Now he uh, holds two victories over both Sam Langford and uh, Harry Wills. In fact he fought Langford an incredible 15 times uh, many of those were no decisions, no contest, and Langford does hold the edge in victories uh, in their meetings. But still, uh, two fighters of that caliber to meet 15 times in a ring is, is just phenomenal. And basically, because it's uh, because of opportunities presented to uh, black fighters at the time, they were often forced to uh, fight each other multiple times like that. While still uh, attracting good crowds, they of course didn't make the. Um, the income that they would have uh, had they been allowed to fight or more frequently fought across the color line. Uh, he fought um, Harry Wells a total of five times, also fought uh, Joe Jeanette five times, and fought Jack Johnson, who he's facing today in Glory Days Boxing, three times. Now, the, the fights with Johnson uh, also or came, all came. Um, early in Johnson's career and McVeigh's career. In fact, McVeigh uh, fought Jack all three of those fights before the age of 20. He did lose all three to Johnson, two by decision and finally by a 20 round of knockout. Uh, Jeanette, he had a very notable fight with in 1909 in Paris, France. They fought an incredible 50 rounds in a bout that took three and a half hours, if you could imagine that. Three and a half hours for a fight. And uh, during that bout, McVeigh actually uh, got the better of Jeanette through the first half of the fight before he uh, finally wore down and was knocked down multiple times toward the end. And ultimately the fight had to be stopped because both of McVeigh's uh, eyes were swollen shut and he was completely blind at that point and unable to continue. Or the fight would have gone on most likely uh, longer than 50 rounds. He also really holds a very rare and notable distinction. On uh, Chris, or New Year's Eve 1908, he fought one of the first recognized mixed martial arts fights when he fought a Japanese jiu-jitsu practitioner, Tanu Matsuda and he knocked Matsuda out within 10 seconds of the bout. So McVeigh, uh, again, a uh, precursor of modern MMA before the UFC started with their all styles accepted and basically no holds barred fighting in the uh, early 90s and what has now evolved into a more uh, refined mixed martial arts uh, competition. But in interesting that this fight took place um, almost an entire century before the, um, the heyday of the UFC, really. Um, beyond that, uh, McVeigh as a fighter, he was considered, he, he definitely was not as uh, well-rounded as, say, a Sam Langford, though he was certainly just as powerful, and definitely not the stylist that boxers like Jack Johnson or uh, Harry Wills or even, to a lesser degree, Joe Jeanette were. Uh, McVeigh's forte was always power, 
Uh, he, and he was a powerfully built fighter, uh, ability to knock uh, people out with one punch. And again, not particularly refined. He was more of a just high pressure in your face kind of fighter, um, looking to land big punches. And, and really to get a better idea of that, there's a fairly well preserved fight film on YouTube that you can watch from 1910. And in that bout, uh, Sam McVeigh versus battling Jim Johnson, not Jack, but Jim Johnson, who was another great uh, black fighter of the time period. And it's uh, 10 rounds fire, speed corrected. So look for on YouTube, Sam McVeigh versus battling Jim Johnson, 1910 speed corrected. And that gives you an idea of the kind of fight fighter that he was. And you'll, you'll see watching the clip that you know, he, he appeared rather crude at times, but he was definitely powerfully built and uh, had the ability to uh, cause devastation with his fists if he did uh, land on you. So that's a little bit about Sam McVeigh, who was one of the lesser known uh, black fighters of that time period. And again, a very excellent crop of fighters around the early part of the 20th century that um, just didn't get the opportunities uh, because of the the color line basically in boxing that very few were allowed to cross. Uh, Jack Johnson been the notable exception and Johnson uh, really wanted no part of McVeigh after their third bout and he was one of the fighters that Johnson himself drew the color line against after he beat uh, Tommy Burns for the title in 1908. Uh, wanted no part of McVeigh and you know to, to be fair to Johnson a large part of that was economic. The American public was going to pay to see a white heavyweight attempt to take the title back from Johnson. So the money really wasn't there. Jack Johnson didn't fight Sam Langford, didn't fight Joe Jeanette either uh, after he captured the heavyweight title. And again, basically, um, you know, if you're looking at it from a financial basis, uh, high reward, low risk, it made sense that he fought who he fought where he would have taken less money, uh, probably substantially less money, and had a much higher risk of losing the title to a Langford, McVeigh, or Jeanette, and uh, later on Harry Wills, though Harry Wills came at about the time Johnson was on the downside of his career. So that is your background. This will be a eliminator. The winner of this bout will be in line to face the current Glory Days Boxing Heavyweight Champion Jack Dempsey in a 15-round affair. This is a 10-round fight, so introducing the principals in the red corner with a record of 73, 13, and 10, 40 knockouts. He fought from 1894 to 1938. The Galveston Giant, Little Arthur, Jack Johnson. And in the blue corner, from Oxnard, California, a record of 75, 13, and 10. The Oxnard Cyclone, 61 of those 75 wins coming via KO. Fighting from 1902 to 1921, Sam McVeigh. And uh, one more side note to the McVeigh-Johnson uh, storyline. Uh, Sam McVeigh tragically uh, contracted pneumonia and died in 1921. He was an active fighter at the time of, of his death. He uh, died at the age of 37. He was penniless at the time. And it was actually Jack Johnson himself who paid for McVeigh's, McVeigh's burial and headstone. So there you have their history intertwined and now they are set to go in the ring again. Traits for this fight, McVeigh does not have any traits and Jack Johnson has the old master trait. And what that dictates is during all toe-to-toe -to -toe exchanges, we will subtract one from uh, McVeigh's punches landed, and that simulates Johnson's ability to get the better of an exchange through his uh, expertise in close quarters fighting. So here we go, first segment round one. Inside two stars to outside no stars, Johnson is in control. McVeigh will have a defensive control in this one. And 55 from the inside, and that is going to be a miss. McVeigh looking to counter, counters on a roll of five or less, so a miss there. No punches land. We go to segment number two, Johnson with momentum. And once again, Johnson in control on the inside, McVeigh on the defense. And a roll of 20, and it's going to be a high volume of blows in the pocket. Four punches landed for Jack Johnson. And McVeigh looking to use his defense to block some of those. 
and he just misses doing that. So Johnson gets the early advantage in this bout. We head to the third segment of the first round. And Johnson, both fighters from the outside. Johnson, two stars to one. McVeigh on the defensive. Johnson in control. And Johnson is going to miss. McVeigh looking to counter does not. So Johnson still with momentum. And Johnson outside three stars. That is going to take it. Once again, Johnson on the offensive. And from the outside, again, a high volume of blows in the pocket. Four punches land and four. It's going to be a just missed a potential knockdown as Johnson has a power rating of three. So McVeigh's defensive role. And on the defense, he blocks two of those punches. So McVeigh, fine job on defense there. We head to segment number five. And deuces for each, and McVeigh takes control on the inside. Johnson will be on the defense now. And 52 for McVeigh, connects with a jab and hook, two punches land. Johnson looking on the, for the defense, and a one. He's going to block one of those. So one punch gets through, but McVeigh seizes the momentum. Head into the sixth segment of the round. And outside two stars, outside two stars, they're going to exchange blows. And again, Johnson's trait comes into play. McVeigh goes first, 51 on the outside, and that is going to be a miss. Johnson gets his opportunity. And 49 on the outside, Johnson snaps a crisp jab cross combo and gets two punches in. So Johnson seizes back momentum as we head to the final minute of the first round. And outside one star, McVeigh will take control. Possible cut, 23, and that's going to be a lead hook followed by a combination. Three punches land, and possible cut for Johnson. Johnson's cut rating is a three or less. He does not cut easily, and he does not cut here. But McVeigh now with momentum, heading into the final 40 seconds, and two stars inside for Johnson, one star inside for McVeigh. Johnson takes back control, 73. That's going to be a miss, and looking to counter... McVeigh does not. Final segment of the round. <clears throat> Johnson with momentum and deuces. That's outside. Two stars for Johnson is going to give him control. McVeigh will be on the defense. 96, and that's going to be a possible foul. Johnson gets a punch home. And 15 will not be a foul. That's outside his foul range of 8. So the bell rings. And first round is over. Johnson... Lands a total of nine punches, a rather slow first round. Four punches land for McVeigh. And stamina coming into the fight, Johnson was a 90, McVeigh an 80. So heading into round two, McVeigh down to 71, Johnson down to 86. And we go to the scoring, five punch differential. I'm not using any, I'm just using base judges for this one. So no uh, adjustments to scoring for any of the judges. <clears throat> so five point differential and nine that's going to go to Johnson Johnson and third judge all three judges go 10 9 to Johnson for the first round and we head into the second round now and looking to get things going McVeigh looking to get off to a faster start and no stars inside for Johnson one star outside for McVeigh McVeigh is going to have control so 60, and that would have been a potential cut, but that's going to be a miss. Johnson looking to counter, and Johnson gets through the counter. A two, uh, two punches land with the hook punctuating that exchange. So Johnson sees the momentum as we head into segment two. And two stars outside, one star outside. Johnson back in control. McVeigh will be on the defense here. And 27, it's going to be a classic jab cross hook. Connect, three punches land, and looking for a defensive action, not going to happen. So Johnson once again off to a fast start in this round. And three stars from the outside, but they can't best that, so Johnson will be in control once again. And 60 from the outside, and that is going to be a miss, and looking to counter. McVeigh does not, heading into segment number four. Again, three stars from the outside. Johnson will be in control. And 37, there goes a three-punch salvo once again. 
with the jab cross hook all connecting and 19 is going to be a possible cut for McVeigh. McVeigh will be cut four or less and he is fine. So we head to the next segment of the round. Johnson having his way thus far, but McVeigh on the inside takes back control. 43 for McVeigh on the inside, connects with a jab and a hook, two punches land, and a five, that is a power shot and a potential knockdown. Johnson with a ching check, and he needs three or less and he's down, he shakes that off, but McVeigh has control now, or momentum, as we head into segment six. Outside three stars to inside two stars, they're going to exchange punches, and since McVeigh has momentum, he will go first, and the exchange will be on the inside. And 91 would have been a possible knockdown again, but instead 91 will be a clinch, and no other action occurs due to that. So a golden opportunity for McVeigh goes by the wayside. Last minute of the round, no stars inside for Johnson, two stars inside for McVeigh. McVeigh making a little bit of a comeback now. 63, that's going to be a miss, however. Johnson looking to counter, and counter he does. Hook gets through, two punches land. So the final 40 seconds of the round, Johnson back with momentum. And outside three stars, Johnson's going to be on the offense, McVeigh on the defense. 29, and there goes that jab cross hook again. Three punches collect, connect, and a possible knockdown for Johnson. Chin check for McVeigh, and a nine, he's okay. So we head into the final segment, and Johnson building up a substantial lead here in the second stanza. Two stars on the outside, one star inside. Johnson, once again, he'll close around in control. Would have been a possible knockdown again, but 64 is going to be a miss, and looking to counter is McVeigh. Seven, he does not, and that's the round. So a fairly comfortable round, minus that uh, possible knockdown scare, as McVeigh has not been very active thus far. 13 punches land for Johnson, two land for McVeigh. So 11 punch differential, and we'll go to the scorecards. Uh, basically, 1 to 19, it's going to go to Johnson, a 20. The judge will be blind and give it to McVeigh. And all three judges, close there. 10-9 to Johnson, so Johnson off to a quick start and has an early lead in this title eliminator as we get ready to head into round three. Stamina at this point. Uh, Johnson in great shape with 84 and 68 is McVeigh heading into third round. And it's going to be on the inside and with two stars, Johnson in control. 91 on the inside and that's going to be a clinch. And segment ends, no further action. A lot of, or many lulls I should say in this one. Outside three stars for Johnson, he has offensive control. 48, and it's going to be a crisp jab cross. Two punches land. McVeigh looking to get some defensive work going. Does not. So Johnson with momentum lands a couple of punches there. We head into the second minute of the round. And again, inside or outside three stars for Johnson. So Johnson with these elite fighters, very few of them have it. Uh, Two stars is generally as high as you can get on these control rolls. The very elite in the game will have one area where they have three stars. So whenever you roll that, it's pretty much that fighter in control. 76 from the outside, going to be a miss though. McVeigh with a chance to counter five or less, can't get it done. Heading into segment four. And two stars to two stars on the inside. They'll exchange punches. Johnson goes first. And this is one of the, uh, only the second exchange opportunity we've had at Johnson. Roll of 81 is going to miss his opportunity. McVeigh looking to fire back now. 54, and he just misses as well. So both fighters a little sloppy early in this one. Johnson maintains momentum. And it's going to be uh, another exchange, this time from the outside as they tie with two stars each. Johnson first. And 70 would have been a possible cut, but he misses McVeigh. Looking to get his uh, punches in, and 94, that's going to be a clinch, so that would have nullified anything Johnson had done. 
crowd getting a little restless here, the third round, a very uh, uh, tame fight at this point. That's one star outside for Johnson and two stars inside for McVeigh. McVeigh looking to press the action. Steps into the pocket and a lead hook followed by a combination. Three punches land. And Johnson looking to get a block in, seven or less, and he's going to block two of those punches. So the fine defensive work of the Galveston Giant interjecting himself, uh, itself into the fight. Uh, outside two stars, outside two stars. So they're going to exchange punches and McVeigh, since he is the fighter with momentum, goes first in the exchange. And 50. And that is going to be a miss. So Johnson with his opportunity now. And Johnson misses as well. So this has not been, uh, this has been far from a classic fight. Uh, two stars outside for Johnson, two stars inside. Uh, they'll exchange on the inside and McVeigh still has momentum so he goes first. And 85 on the inside, that is going to be a clinch. That takes us to the final segment, no action. And the crowd is booing now. One star outside to one star inside. They're going to again exchange on the inside. McVeigh with momentum goes first. 71, that is going to be a miss. Johnson. And 94, and they clinch again. So the round is over, and that was an extremely dull and I've been generous there around. Uh, gee, one punch landed in that round. <laughs> God, for McVeigh. So, <laughs> well, the, the good part is uh, nobody will have to worry about stamina at this point. So, one punch differential, 1 to 11, McVeigh, 12 to 17, Johnson, McVeigh. McVeigh and McVeigh. So all three judges reward the Oxnard Cyclone. So heading into round four, still anybody's fight, still looking for someone to start dictating the pace a little bit. That's the three star role for Johnson on the outside. He'll have control and McVeigh on the defensive. 22 and again a three punch salvo gets in McVeigh. Defensive check, doesn't block any of them. Head to the second segment, Johnson back in control with momentum. Sixes, inside two stars for Johnson. He has the offensive action and 83 is going to be a clinch and the crowd's getting a little bit sick of Little Arthur's clinching, which he's done frequently in this fight. <clears throat> inside two stars to outside, no stars, Johnson in control. And from the inside, that's going to be a miss. McVeigh looking to counter. Doesn't get it done. Well, this thus far has, uh, is as lackluster a fight as we've had in the Glory Days series. I don't think either of these guys deserve a shot at Dempsey. Inside two stars, McVeigh is going to take offensive control back, and Johnson will have to uh, be on the defense, but once again, a clinch. So the crowd getting very restless at this point in time. No stars inside and two stars inside for McVeigh. McVeigh. McVeigh with the offensive action. And he misses. That could have been a potential cut. Johnson looking to counter. Doesn't get it done. McVeigh still has momentum as we head in towards the final minute of the round. And it's going to be uh, two stars outside to two stars outside. They will exchange on the outside and McVeigh goes first. So exchanging blows and 95, that will be a single punch land and a possible foul on McVeigh and that will be a foul. We'll come back and check that. First we will resolve uh, Johnson's role. Uh, Johnson 99 and we're going to the event chart. <laughs> God, and a two on the event chart. Uh, fighter breaks arm, can't go on, fight is stop, ruled TKO win for opponent. Are you kidding me? 99, and I'll put it up here. Two on the event chart, and literally, oh, uh, you know what, my bad, I've got to roll, never mind. <laughs> I have got to roll the, uh, 
event chart dice again, sorry. Yeah, two on a 20 was kind of easy to get. So we'll resolve the event first as that could take precedent over the uh, foul. And we'll come back and resolve the uh, foul if depending on what happens with the event. Sorry about that. Double zeros on the event chart. Okay, <laughs> it's actually even better. Uh, this is as rare as it gets. Both fighters land simultaneous blows, four punches each. Check both fighters' chin ratings for knockdown. Wow, okay. So we will check Johnson's first because McVeigh initiated this segment. And this is about, actually, this has been uh, quite some time before since the rare event chart has come into play. Uh, Johnson's chin check is fine. Uh, McVeigh's is fine, but he's going to be stunned for the next segment. And now we have to resolve, and that overrides the foul check. The event always overrides the foul check. So when a fighter is stunned, he gets no uh, action roll in the next segment. So we just roll for Johnson. This action will be on the inside. And 48 on the inside, and that's a crisp jab cross combo. Two punches land, uh, 16, nothing on the 1D20. So into the final segment of the round. So this round had a little bit of everything. Crowd's getting back into this fight just a little bit. Two stars to nil on the outside. Johnson in control. McVeigh will be on the defense and 34, there's that classic jab cross hook connecting once again, three punches land. And for McVeigh, McVeigh fires back a lead hook followed by a combination, gets in three of his own and that's the bell. All right, so a little bit more excitement in this round including me almost misreading the event chart. 12 punches land for Johnson, eight for McVeigh. So we'll get our stamina adjustments. Johnson still has 75 stamina. He is definitely gonna be good to go for uh, 12 rounds in this one, a four point or four punch differential. So once again, one to 11 for high score, 12 to 17 for low. And it's gonna to go to McVeigh, McVeigh, and even. So some questionable scoring there, but that gets this fight a whole lot closer as we head into round number five. So chaos, uh, chaos was everywhere in the fourth round, fifth round, two stars on the outside for both fighters and we're gonna have an exchange and Johnson goes first since he finished that round with momentum. And 54, a crisp jab and a cross get through, two punches land. And firing back is McVeigh. 93, and McVeigh from the outside, and that is actually going to be a clinch, so nullifies that as we head to segment two. So no punches land. And two stars outside for both fighters once again. And once again, Johnson will go first. So 70, he's going to miss his opportunity. McVeigh with a chance, fires back. 49 from the outside, he misses as well. On to segment three of the fifth round. And no stars inside for Johnson. Two stars inside for McVeigh. McVeigh, offensive action, Johnson on the defense. 87 on the inside, and that's going to be yet another clinch. And once again, the crowd makes its displeasure apparent. Johnson with the three-star roll on the outside, he has the offensive control and just missed a possible knockdown. 72 actually missed a punch as well. Looking to counter as McVeigh, he doesn't. So segment five, Johnson now with momentum, still waiting for a punch of significance to land in this. And Johnson on the outside. Offensive action, McVeigh will be on the defense, 56, that's a miss. McVeigh looking to counter, 10 does not. The crowd letting both fighters have it at this point. Two stars outside, two two stars inside. They're gonna exchange blows on the outside. Johnson first, and 31 from the outside, and that is going to be a classic cross hook or jab cross hook combo. 
So three punches land for Johnson. McVeigh looking to get his piece of flesh. Fires back 18, a wild overhand cross finishes a flurry of four punches that get through. So McVeigh outlands Johnson. Oh, and actually the old master trait takes one from McVeigh, so they're even. And that's key in that Johnson retains momentum as we head into the final minute of the round. And a three-star outside roll for Johnson. He has offensive actions. McVeigh on the defense and a possible foul, 14. And that will be outside of Johnson's foul rating. McVeigh looking to block that single punch, does not. So a very close and once again, a very boring round. Two stars each, but Johnson from the outside with momentum. That's where the exchange will take place. And 0-7, a high volume of blows in the pocket. Four punches landed for Johnson. And again, remember with the old master trait, we will deduct one from whatever McVeigh lands. And 82, that is going to be a miss, not necessary. So we head to the final segment of the round. Johnson getting a little bit of distance. And three stars on the inside is going to give this to McVeigh. Johnson will be on defense. 30 on the inside. And that is going to be a lead hook followed by a combination. Three punches land for McVeigh. Johnson to work his defensive magic and he blocks two of them again and that is the end of the round so Johnson dictating things with defense at this point in the fight and wins that round uh, eight punches or outlands McVeigh eight punches to four again a very drab round <clears throat> uh, stamina like I said Johnson in the, in the sixth round, he'll still be at 71. McVeigh will be at 47. I think both will be okay if this fight goes a distance, which it's looking like it might do. Uh, four punch differential again. There will be some close scoring. And to Johnson, to Johnson, and to Johnson, all three judges. So Johnson assume or continuing to lead in what is a still very close fight and neither fighter, as mentioned, has established themselves in terms of dictating the pace. So we are ready for round six and Johnson enters with the momentum. And fours for both fighters will be on the outside and Johnson takes control and he'll be on the offense and a possible cut to McVeigh. So a 0-6, and that is a flurry of punches from all angles. Five punches land as Johnson opens up, and McVeigh has to make a cut check now. And again, four or less, and he is okay there. When there is a potential cut or knockdown, there is no defensive check. Just as a reminder, uh, you will either make a chin check if it's a possible knockdown, or check for a cut or swelling if it is a possible cut or swelling which is why we don't do the defensive check there. Uh, two stars outside for Johnson, one for McVeigh. Johnson maintains control, fighting from the outside, and McVeigh will be on the defense in this one, and a 30 will be a three-punch salvo again. Jab, cross, hook, and McVeigh on the defense, can't block any of them. Head to segment three, and Johnson Finally opening up a little bit here, much to the delight of the crowd, and three stars for Johnson on the outside. He has control, and he is letting his hands go. High volume of blows in the pocket, four punches land. McVeigh looking to block at least one of them, and three on the defensive check. That is exactly what he does as we head to segment four. Uh, six and one, two stars inside, two stars outside. They're going to exchange blows on the inside. Johnson goes first. And just missed a possible knockdown, but he does get in a flurry of punches from all angles once again. Five punches connect there, and McVeigh looking to keep pace. Is Johnson pulling away now? 93, and that's going to be a clinch. So. Go ahead and deduct those five punches landing from all angles on the clinch roll. Segment five, Johnson. Two stars outside, no stars outside for McVeigh. Johnson dictating the pace at will in this round. 39, and it's going to be a crisp jab cross combo connecting. 
McVeigh, and McVeigh with a four, and he's gonna block two of those, or both of those, actually. So both fighters showing their defensive prowess in this one as we head to segment six. No stars inside for Johnson. McVeigh has two stars on the inside, so he has the offensive action. Johnson on the defense. 29 and a lead hook followed by a combination. Three punches land as McVeigh scores his first blows of the round. Johnson cannot block any of those. Final minute of round number six and McVeigh has a momentum, one star inside, one star outside. They're gonna exchange blows from the outside. McVeigh goes first, not his uh, strong point, and that is actually a clinch, that ends the segment. So wise not to mix it up with the old master from the outside there. And four, I'm sorry, one, three stars inside for Johnson. So he has the offensive action in this one. And 76, gonna be a miss. McVeigh looking to counter, and counter he does. Gets in a hook, two punches land there. Heading into the final segment of the round. McVeigh now with momentum and in control. Outside one star, inside one star. They're gonna exchange blows on the inside. McVeigh first. Things picking up a little bit here, zero nine. And 0-9, a wild overhand cross, finishes a flurry, four punches, land reduced to three for the old master trait, and we have to come and check Johnson for a potential cut after he resolves his action. 83, Johnson. And that is actually going to be a clinch. So that takes away those three punches, and we don't do a cut check. And that is the round. Round six is in the books. So once again, Johnson landing more punches, 11 to five. And the judge is scoring now. Six punch differential in that round, so that will be uh, in the five to eight range. 1 to 15 is Johnson, 16 to 20 is McVeigh, and it goes Johnson, McVeigh, and Johnson. And hitting into round 7. All right, outside one star, inside one star, they're going to exchange on the outside. And Johnson will go first. 86, and 86 will be a miss on the outside. McVeigh gets off, and 26, that's going to be a lead hook followed by a combination. Three punches land, reduced to two due to the old master trait. And heading into segment two. Johnson takes back offensive control, McVeigh on the defense. 61 from the outside, and that is going to be a miss. McVeigh looking to counter. 12 does not, but he still has momentum as we head to segment three. Two stars to two stars, and they're going to exchange on the inside. McVeigh first with momentum. And McVeigh, a blistering two-handed assault. Five punches land, reduced to four due to that old master trade again. It could come into play in this fight as Johnson looks to fire back. And 98, and that is going to be a foul. And 11 will be outside of his foul range, so that concludes the segment. On to segment four. McVeigh off to his best start in any round of the fight thus far. Outside two stars, inside one. Johnson quick to snatch offensive control back. And 45 from the outside, that's going to be a possible knockdown as a couple of punches get through. So three, and that is within Johnson's power range. Chin check for McVeigh, 18, he's good. But Johnson, looking to reestablish himself outside two stars, inside one. Johnson, offensive control, McVeigh on the defense. 62 from the outside's a miss, McVeigh looking to counter. And McVeigh gets a cross, two punches land, so sharp in his punches, in his counter punching is McVeigh here in the seventh stanza. And inside two stars for McVeigh, he has the offensive action, Johnson on defense. 
55 and going to miss Johnson trying to get the counter across seven and that is going to be a cross for two punches land and that also seizes momentum back for Johnson as we head to the last minute of the seventh round two and a five inside two stars outside I'm sorry inside for both two stars for McVeigh he has the offensive control and 14 and 4, possible knockdown. So that is going to be a wild overhand cross, finishes a flurry. Four punches land, and a chin check needed for Johnson. 18, he shakes it off from McVeigh, having his best round of the fight by far. Uh, outside one star to outside one star, they're going to exchange. McVeigh goes first. As you hear McVeigh's glove clatter to the floor, he gets it back on. 68, and he's going to miss. Johnson, looking to salvage things here. And Johnson, a power potential knockdown within his power range, is a flurry of punches from all angles. Five blows land. McVeigh needing the chin check, and three or less. He's fine. So Johnson in the final minute of the round. Climbing back into this one and crowd on his feet. Most exciting round of the fight thus far. Johnson will have offensive control. And 11, and that is going to be a high volume of blows in the pocket. Four punches land. Defensive roll for McVeigh, and McVeigh does not block any of them. That's the round. So how about that? How about Johnson's rally? McVeigh was having his way. Most of the round, and in the final minute, Johnson staged a huge rally. Actually landed more punches in the round, 14 to 8. Uh, McVeigh's stamina heading into round number 8 will be 22. Johnson, 55, so he is still in great shape. Another close round, though, a 3 or 2 point differential. So 1 to 11 will be the high score, and that's Johnson. Johnson. And 19 is even. So Johnson, Johnson, and even. Johnson definitely has the upper hand at this point in the bout. And he'll have momentum as we start round number eight. So eight, nine, and ten to go in this one. And it's turned into a uh, little bit better of a fight these last couple of rounds. Johnson with offensive control. 54 from the outside, and he snaps a jab cross combo and a possible knockdown with the roll of one. McVeigh makes the save. So heading into segment number two, and they're going to exchange punches from the outside. So Johnson first. 60, that is going to be a miss. Would have been a potential cut. Uh, McVeigh, he takes advantage of his opportunity. Wild overhand cross. Four punches land, reduced to three for the old master trait. Segment number three. And two stars for Johnson on the outside. He takes back control. So on the offense, Johnson snaps home a couple of blows again, dancing around outside. McVeigh looking to block one of them. And he does exactly that, blocks one of them. So on to segment four. Johnson outside two stars, inside two stars. We're going to exchange blows from the outside. Johnson goes first. And 15, high volume of blows in the pocket land. Four punches. McVeigh looking for his opportunity. And 50, that's going to be a miss. So on to segment five we go. Johnson. Definitely in control of the fight at this point. Two stars on the outside. And McVeigh on the defense. So 35 and another possible knockdown. A classic jab, cross, hook, connect. Three punches land. And chin check for McVeigh. And McVeigh once again shakes it off smiling. So you can hit me, you can't hurt me. Two stars inside for Johnson. And two stars inside for McVeigh. They're going to exchange on the inside. Johnson first. And another possible knockdown as three more punches get home. So we'll come back and resolve that after uh, McVeigh goes. 
zero six and a possible cut so mcveigh on the inside a blistering two-handed assault five punches reduced to four for old master so the way momentum works uh, we will resolve the knockdown chance first so mcveigh with the chin check and he's good not stunned or down and johnson now has to make a save against a cut or swelling and he is injured a roll of two so we go to the cut swelling chart and 13 a gash above the right eye for johnson so that can come into play and on the chart on a gash uh, first time a gash occurs a roll of one to four is going to be a stoppage and refer referee takes a look lets it go on as we head into the final minute of the round so things heating up and Johnson bleeding all over the place and they're going to exchange again from the outside this time McVeigh will go first with momentum and McVeigh, 46 from the outside, and he's got a couple punches in, reduced to one. And we're going to come back and do a chin check for Johnson after he goes. Johnson, 22, and Johnson, classic jab, cross, hook, three punches connect, and a possible knockdown for him. So first, uh, Johnson's chin check. And that's where momentum comes in huge. Nine, he's okay. McVeigh, McVeigh is down. McVeigh is down. And the referee begins to count. Uh, possible knockdown, he is up. But finally, eight rounds in, we have our first knockdown as McVeigh hits the deck, and he will be stunned in the next segment, which means Johnson has an unopposed action, which will come from the outside. And again, a boost to his power range. And 0-3, and that is going to be a flurry of punches from all angles as Johnson looks to put McVeigh away. And again, with... Uh, Two or more punches landing when a fighter is stunned. We're going to do a will check now. So 14 and no possible knockdown. McVeigh has to roll above a four. This fight's going to end in a TKO as Johnson wails away. Here we go. Referee looking close and he's going to let it go into the final segment of the round. Johnson, if he scores four punches here, he can have it stopped on the automatic TKO punishment of 25 punches in a round. Inside two stars, outside two stars. We're going to exchange from the inside. Johnson looking to up the pressure. And 69 from the inside. Johnson's going to miss McVeigh. He need to fight back despite being hurt badly and he misses well and that is a round but a huge, huge round for Johnson. As he lands 21 blows and 35 punches over the last two rounds, easily his uh, biggest output of the fight. McVeigh lands eight. All right, so a punch differential of 13, but there was a knockdown. So with a knockdown, a high score scored the knockdown. It will be 10-8 across the board for Johnson. And that pretty much... Uh, seals the fact that McVeigh is now going to need a knockdown to win this fight. As we head into the ninth round. And McVeigh also has one stamina left, so he'll be good for this round. In the tenth round, he will be gassed. Here we go, outside two stars, inside two stars. They're going to exchange on the outside. Johnson first with momentum. 42, and that is going to be a crisp jab and a cross. McVeigh fires back for his, and McVeigh misses. So McVeigh at this point is tired. Outside two stars and inside two stars. Uh, taught with fatigue, uh, they're going to exchange again um, on the outside. With fatigue, you can either make the fatigue adjustments at the time that the fighter becomes fatigued or make them at the beginning of the next round. Um, I play at the beginning of the next round. 58 Johnson would have been a potential knockdown, but he misses McVeigh firing back. And 0818, and that is going to be a wild overhand cross, punctuates a four punch flurry reduced to three, but McVeigh sees the momentum. Six from the inside, two stars to no stars. Johnson from the inside in control. McVeigh on the defense. 
and 96, and 96 is going to be a potential foul. Now uh, that is above Johnson's foul range. McVeigh will look to block the punch. He does not. So three and five outside and inside, they're going to exchange punches <clears throat> once again from the outside. Johnson first, Johnson misses. McVeigh looking to get his 51, and that is going to be a one punch landing due to the old master trait. So McVeigh snatches back momentum. Five and one, one star inside, two stars outside. McVeigh in control from the outside. 96, and that is going to be a potential foul. And six, and that is within McVeigh's foul rating, so there is a foul committed. And first Johnson needs to try and block that punch. He does not. Uh, 13, we have our first foul of the bout, and that is going to be elbows for McVeigh. So McVeigh in the ninth round is warned for elbows. And we proceed, McVeigh with momentum still. Two and a six, no stars to one star outside. McVeigh in control, so looking to make a little bit of a late uh, rally here. 92 would have been a potential knockdown. Instead, it is a clinch. We move on to the next segment. As McVeigh just is running out of gas. Two stars inside to one star inside. Johnson taking back control. And looking to punctuate this fight, 99 and 99, we go to the event chart again. So we've had, and again, our second time, so we've had a star event already, an asterisk event. Those can only happen once. There can only be one of those a fight. So if we get another one in this segment, uh, it will be considered a clinch, um, an event without an asterisk. So while Haymaker knocks opponent through weight check KO rating, that is an asterisk event, so it cannot happen. That means the result becomes a clinch. As that is a super rare event, only one super rare event per fight. Outside one star and inside two stars. So McVeigh taking control, 25 on the inside, and that is going to be a lead hook followed by a combination three punches land. Johnson looking to block. Does not. And final segment of the ninth round. This round definitely going all McVeigh thus far. And two stars inside for McVeigh. He has control. Uh, 88 would have been a possible cut, but that's going to be a miss. Actually, 88 on the inside will be a clinch. That's the round. <clears throat> so heading into the tenth round, McVeigh is out of gas. Only three punches land for Johnson that round, though. Eight for McVeigh. Uh, Johnson still has 39 stamina. He is fine. So scoring on that, a five-punch differential for McVeigh. So 1 to 15 goes to the high score. It's going to be McVeigh, McVeigh, and McVeigh. So all three judges give that round to McVeigh. Going to be too little too late unless he gets a knockdown, but he is tired as well as we head into the final round of this fight. And what has uh, picked up a little bit from a very slow and boring start. So fatigue adjustments, McVeigh's power now drops to a two or a five if Johnson is stunned. His chin against a knockdown goes up to a five, his stun rating at eight. And his chin KO check goes from a 1 to a 3. His will check from a 4 to a 6. And every punch he lands is reduced by 1 because he is tired. So tall order. McVeigh will start, though, with momentum. Uh, inside three stars. Johnson is going to take that back quickly. 0-3 uh, and Johnson. A flurry of punches from all angles. He's turning it on here and a possible cut to McVeigh. And McVeigh's cut rating is a four, and he is good. Segment two, Johnson. Ah. Stumbling. Looking to close out the show in big style. Outside two stars, outside two stars. They're going to exchange blows. Johnson first. 76, he misses McVeigh. And he misses as well. On to segment three. And two stars are going to exchange from the inside. Johnson first. 
45 from the inside and that is a crisp jab cross and a possible cut McVeigh will resolve the cut after McVeigh goes that would have been a knockdown chance if McVeigh was fresh but he is not and he missed anyway so a potential cut for McVeigh and McVeigh is still fine there so Johnson still bleeding. Uh, his corner has done a good job. It has not been a factor at this point. And Johnson in control from the outside. Looking to finish in style here. 36 and jab, cross, hook, connect. Three punches land for Johnson McVeigh. 15 and he's unable to block any of those. We move on to segment five. And final round halfway over. Outside two stars, inside two stars. They're going to exchange blows from the outside. Johnson first, 70. Johnson misses. McVeigh steps into the pocket, fires back. 70. He misses as well. Would have been a potential cut on Johnson, a chance to reopen that gash, but he missed, and Johnson in control. And 0 1, flurry of punches from all angles. Five of them land, and Johnson. Laying the wood to McVeigh. McVeigh on the defensive check, though. He blocks one of those. Heading into the final minute of the fight. Johnson seemingly cruising comfortably. They're going to exchange from the outside. Johnson first. And 71. He misses. Would have been a potential cut. McVeigh. Hoping for a Hail Mary. 16. And he does land a blistering two-handed assault. Worth five punches landed, but remember, reduce one for fatigue, reduce one for old master, so only three of them get through. 40 seconds to go in the fight. McVeigh trying to come on and press the action. They're going to exchange again from the outside. This time McVeigh goes first. And McVeigh, 22. And that is going to be a lead hook followed by a combination. Three punches landed, which will only be one due to fatigue and the old master trait. Johnson looking to get his in, 31, and Johnson, classic jab, cross, hook, combo, all connect. So three more punches, Johnson, final segment of the fight, he has momentum. Inside, no stars, outside one, McVeigh. Gets a chance to punctuate the fight on the offense, and he misses. Johnson looking to counter at the bell, and six, Johnson with a counter, gets home a cross, two punches land, and that is the fight. So 19 punches land for Johnson to 4 for McVeigh. And a 15 punch differential. And 1 to 18 is 10-9. 19 or 20 is 10 to 8. So 10-8 Johnson, 10-9 Johnson, and 10-9 Johnson. So Johnson punctuates a pretty good effort again, most of the action coming in the later rounds, but a safe unanimous decision. We will add up the scoring. Wow. Judge number three really liked Johnson this one. So this turned into a rather lopsided decision for Jack Johnson. And again, in real life, Johnson was 3-0 against McVeigh. Doesn't mean he liked fighting them because uh, McVeigh was a bull. But uh, Johnson in real life won two decisions and a 20-round knockout. And in this one, all very much the same. So Judge 1 scores this bout 97-91. Judge 2 scores it 96 to 93. And Judge 3 scores it 98 to 93. All for your winner. By unanimous decision, the Galveston Giant, Jack Johnson. As the crowd.